Uh, could you describe the process of understanding what the film is really about or what the characters are really about while working on film like this? The nice and very interesting thing um, in, in, in Terry's approach um, was that um, he, he didn't tell us what it was about. Um, and uh, so, you know, for me, it, I, I worked with Terry, you know, 10 years back on The New World and we, 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 we talked an awful lot about you know, different ideas and things. And then this was something which, you know, I think it had had gestating for a long time. And um, and he really just gave me the, the, the character description. We worked on the character a great deal, on talking about the backstory and who he was and who, who um, I almost forget who the character's name is because we don't say it so much in the film, but Rick. And, no, I do remember. <laughs> um, uh, uh, but, uh, um, and so then... And then he would, he, he would, uh, you know, he, he liked to call it torpedoing us um, mm -hmm. with uh, uh, different uh, uh, actors and non-actors um, uh, uh, throughout production um, and just get a very real response, you know, based on knowledge of the character. Since you don't really have any lines to learn by heart, how do you prepare for, for these characters? I mean, you did have a few lines to learn. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I, I remember one... The, your lines. <laughs> I, because I, I never had any lines to learn, but I would see other people coming in and they'd have pages. And I would always try to look over the shoulder to see what I was going to be being told that day because I never knew at all. <laughs> yeah, we would get like 30 pages sometimes no, okay. a day um, of suggested ideas for, for dialogue that we could pick and choose what we felt comfortable um, with. And also, Terry sent me books and movies, and we wrote lots back and forth um, before. It was actually uh, quite a lot of uh, discussion before, considering how, how little I, I, I worked on the film. But it was, um, it was a wonderful you know, part of the process. And then sometimes they would just give us GoPros yes. <laughs> as well. They would, they would just hand me a GoPro and say, OK, go shoot a scene. It is a car, go off with somebody or, or, or go in a, the ocean. And, 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 and then I'd hand back the GoPro to Terry or Chibo and see if it ended up in the film. You know, it, it was a wonderful uh, sense of trust, you know, amongst everybody. Um, and, and, and from the most very experienced filmmakers to people who were doing this from the, for the very first time. Exactly. You know, which is a great combination. I felt very, very lucky to have worked with Terry right before directing for the first time because um, I think he reminded me that the rules of filmmaking are not necessary, you know, that, that the way we do things, the rituals that we have aren't necessary and that you can kind of find your own... Um, find your own way and to allow the, the mistakes to welcome the problems like what you normally consider a problem Terry would look at as an opportunity you know it starts raining you shoot in the rain um, you don't change the schedule to shoot something different which you would normally do in a film and I think that kind of embracing embracing the, the unknown and embracing chance and Anything that can happen um, was was really, and, and also just searching for the discoveries every day. Like, there's no sense of that you have like a script that you're just executing while you're making the movie. It's like every day is a search for something beautiful, which is a great way to go into even a more conventional shoot. Um, so I was very very lucky. A question to uh, Christian Natalie again. Uh, this year's jury president was involved in both of you guys winning an Oscar so far. <laughs> he produced The Fighter for you, Christian, and he directed, of course, Black Swan. So with what arguments would you go to him and convince <laughs> him of giving the golden or one of the silver bears to this movie? I would never tamper with the, I'm sure, very, very, um, very uh, unbiased uh, choices of the jury. So um, I will have a drink with him and not talk about the movie, I think. <laughs>